Hey guys, it's Kyle from Emory Performance, and today we're gonna to give you a comprehensive guide on how to install a Cobb Access port onto your VB chassis WRX. So before we get too far into this, we wanna talk about some of the features and the benefits that come with buying a Cobb Access port and why you should think about buying one. Without further ado, we're gonna get right into what's actually inside this box when it shows up at your house. So when you open up the box, the first thing you're gonna be greeted with is this nice soft carrying case. This allows you to throw it in here, throw it in your glove box, uh, just a nice case to make sure your access port doesn't get all banged up when you're not using it. When you open up this case, obviously you will have your access port inside. You will also have this mount that we'll get into later, but this is a quick mount so that you can mount your access port on a number of different universal mounts that are out there on the market. We'll talk about those a little bit later. Also inside, you have a little protective cover that can go on the front of your access port. This is just, like I said, it's a protective cover. It's meant to you know, stop scratches, make sure this thing doesn't get all dinged up and overall protect your item. Other cool things you get in the box, this is the cord that you will use to do a number of things, uh, such as add or remove data logs, add or remove uh, different tune files that are loaded onto your access port that then you can flash onto the car. Um, so this is used in conjunction with the access manager software that's available for download from Cobb's website. Um, so that's another thing that you're gonna wanna check out and download it onto your computer after you make this purchase. And lastly, in the box, you got a couple stickers. Who doesn't love some stickers? Slap these straight onto the side of your quarter glass so that the bros know that you got a MF access port. There's a couple other little things that will come inside the box. Um, these are in this accessory, oh, that accessory labeled box. This is going to include the interface OBD cable that will plug into the access port so it can talk to the car, as well as a little fixed double stick mount. This is a very simple universal mount that Cobb includes, very nice handy to have. Like we also talked about, there's a number of other aftermarket universal mounts that you can use. And lastly, Cobb tuning keychain, super cool, it's red. So as we promised guys, this is an install guide on how to install your Cobb access port onto your VB chassis WRX. Or if you need some help on other chassis, this guide will help you through it as well. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is locate the OBD port. This stands for Onboard Diagnostics. You're gonna to wanna to find this port. It's generally under the center console, the driver areas, within reach of the driver's compartment. Um, as you can see in our video, it's just in between your legs on the VB chassis WRX. It's a little white uh, connector, and you will connect the corresponding end of your uh, Cobb interface cable into that. And then you will then from there, plug the other end into your Cobb access port. Once you have that plugged in, go ahead and turn on the car and the Cobb access port will boot up for you. If it does not, there is a button on the top of the access port. Click that once and the access port should turn on. From there, you will be greeted with a welcome message. Um, you will use the center button to click continue. You should note that the Buttons on the top and the bottom are for going up and down. The center button is for selecting and the smaller button to the left is for going back. So after you make it through the welcome page, you'll be greeted with the ability to marry your access port to your vehicle. From there, it will ask you to select what tune you'd like to flash on the car. Stage zero generally means this is a unmodified factory ROM. Stage one, would be a modified factory ROM using factory hardware. This means it's a little bit more gains over stock. However, you are still utilizing a factory downpipe, factory intake, unmodified catback exhaust, okay. Cobb also ships these with the options of a 91 and a 93 stage one map. So be sure to know what you're usually filling up on and be sure to flash it onto that corresponding map. So after you select the tune that you would like to flash to your vehicle, the next prompt is going to let you know to make sure that your battery voltage is above 12 volts because we do not want the vehicle to die while it is flashing the ECU. This can lead to some very, very bad results some of which can be very costly if the ECU ends up bricking itself, meaning it is unable to be written to anymore. If your battery voltage is a little flaky, low, or you just wanna be on the safe side, hook your car up to a battery tender and just let it charge while you're doing this process. So after you go through that 
disclosure about the battery, you again get to do the fun part. You get to wait, sit on your phone, and watch TikToks. The process for marrying and flashing a car for the first time isn't actually very long. After you finish the first section of waiting, the access port will prompt you to turn the vehicle into the off state. This means the key off state, so the screen, the dash goes black, and then you will press continue on the access port. It will then go through another cycle, and then it will prompt you to turn the vehicle back on. This is part of the ECU reset process. It resets all the monitors and resets all the learning that's in the ECU. So it is a fresh start. All of your monitors and all of your learnings are set to zero. And after that, once it's all finished, it will prompt you to turn the vehicle off one last time and wait 15 seconds before you can turn it back on and hear that sweet, sweet noise. Now that you have your Cobb Access port installed, we're gonna go over some more of the features and benefits a little bit more in depth and kind of let you guys know, you know, why is it important that you buy this product? So even with these maps that come pre-installed, so like we talked about before, stage zero, stage one maps from Cobb that come pre-installed, even though these don't give you huge gains over stock, they do, however, improve the drive and quality of the vehicle immensely. Um, we installed the stage one map on our VB chassis WRX and immediately I noticed the car was a ton more fun, running a little bit more boost. Um, the car feels a lot more responsive. The throttle response is much more crisp and overall it's just a ton of more fun. So even if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know how far I wanna push the car right away. Well, you know, well, I still have it and it's really low miles. Uh, there still is a lot of benefits to using those pre-installed maps and even going forward, getting either a OTS map or getting a even a full pro tune. Um, all of that can be done with this device. So on top of being able to configure and tune the vehicle with this, you also have the complete list of data log monitors available at your fingertips. You can have, I believe it's up to six different monitors all running in real time at once and the ability to start and stop data logs, which you can then give to a tuner. You can review them to your, for yourself. So be it, whatever you'd like to do with this information, you have the ability to do that all from this device without any other interfaces, um, which is really cool. Um, albeit, a lot of people get a lot of anxiety and will stare at this thing all day long. Remember, this is an aid. This isn't an anxiety machine. So there's a ton of little uses. Don't get stressed out. Don't stare at this thing all day long because it's here to be your friend, not your enemy. While we are on the topic of diagnosis, another really, really cool thing that this does is it doubles as a scan tool. So within the menus in the access port, you were able to read and erase codes within your vehicle should they pop up. Obviously, that's not a good feeling when you see the check engine light comes up. A lot of times, or sometimes, it's not a big deal and it's a code that you can clear and it's not gonna affect anything. Um, and you can just clear those and be on your way uh, without having to pull out any other special tools or um, you know, visit a dealership or an O'Reilly's or whoever to use a scan tool. You have that all at your fingertips. There is a quarter mile and I believe a zero to 60 timer built into this little guy. So if you wanna have a little bit of fun, you know, not on public streets and uh, time yourself doing some stuff so you can brag to your friend, this little guy can help you do that as well. So now that you're done having fun, scrolling through all the menus, getting your car flashed, enjoying all the extra performance that this guy can give you, you might ask yourself, what am I gonna do with it? Where am I gonna put it? So as we talked about in the unboxing, Cobb includes this small short um, adapter that just has double stick tape that you can attach anywhere um, on, you know, on the dash of your car to be able to mount this and route your cables in a way that's not intrusive to the driver. Um, however, there are plenty of options here at MA Performance uh, for different dash mounts to mount your Cobb access port. Um, personally, I recommend one that still mounts to the dash. Um, that way you're not obstructing any view through your windshield, that'd obviously be bad, uh, but we have options for both glass mounted and dash mounted uh, versions. Um, and these just allow you to set your access port in a place where you can view it, um, but you're not having to, to hold on to it or it's not you know, thrown on the floor of your car. It just tidies everything up and makes it look like it's supposed to be there. Um, so obviously we mounted ours just to the right of the steering wheel. That way I can see it, but my hand's not gonna run into it and I can still 
use all of the big fancy iPad touchscreen that's in the center console. So now that we got all the installation and explanation out of the way, we're gonna go over just a couple of frequently asked questions or things that you might just have in your head at this exact moment that we might go over that might help you. First thing being talking about why should I still buy this thing post Cobb Green Speed update? Um, I'll go over the Cobb Green Speed update very, very quickly. Essentially what it is, this was an update to Cobb's access tuner programs. These are what tuners use to change the maps for the vehicles, they, to calibrate the maps, if you will. Um, and this was a change made done to that software to restrict um, tuners from being able to modify emissions devices. So this being for your Subaru guys, the TGVs, flex fuel support was removed at this time. Now it is going to come back, but at this time we do not have flex fuel support. Don't get that confused with ethanol. We lost some features as well as no longer to the days of catless anything. So you we'll probably get flagged. I'm on a watch list now that I even said the word catless. You should bleep it out and put a cat over my mouth. So what does that mean for you? This is a roundabout uh, tangent we're going on here. It just means that you're gonna have to fall within the guidelines that Cobb and ultimately the big government set out for us. So that means keeping all of the emissions devices on your car. However, there are plenty of people out there that can show you, tell you, do for you, make gobs of power with all of these emissions devices still installed. Now that we got that super long one out of the way, we'll do some shorter ones, I promise. The first one being another negative, uh, will this void my warranty? And the answer is probably. Probably. If you bring your car in with your access port flashed, with you sporting this on the dashboard, it's probably likely that they're gonna flag your car and remove you from the eligibility to have warranty work done. Um, so just keep that in mind with any vehicle mods or most vehicle mods, I shouldn't say any, um, but most vehicle mods, you are going to fall under some level of scrutiny um, if you try and get some warranty work done. Um, so there are ways around it. You can get lucky or you can get very unlucky. So just know that you are potentially voiding the warranty by using this product. Can you unplug your access port? Or when is it okay to unplug your access port? So you don't, after you flash your vehicle, you actually don't ever have to touch this again until you want to flash it again. You want to clear a code. You want to view something. You could take this, flash it, take the cord out, put it in this box, put it in your glove box and forget about it. Is that the best value for your money? Probably not, because there's a lot of really cool features that are inside of this that would, I would say is worth using it as much as you can. Um, but however, if you just wanna use it as a flashing interface and maybe a scan tool here and there, um, that's totally fine. Uh, you do not have to have this plugged in for the vehicle to continue to be flashed at whatever uh, tune that you uploaded to the car. Once you write that configuration to the ECU, it is there permanently until it is commanded to be erased or you unmarry this or you write a new tune to it. So fret not, you do not have to have this plugged in at all times. And honestly, the only times that you shouldn't unplug it is when you're in the middle of a flash or while you're taking a data log. Those are the two times I would for sure recommend leaving it plugged in. Another big question that we get all the time, how is this going to affect my gas mileage? Um, and that's another one of those depends questions. Um, so with it being that you're likely going to flash your car to a higher horsepower and you're probably gonna be sitting on the gas having a little bit more fun, you might kill your MPGs. However, a big part about um, engine tuning is making the engine run as efficiently as possible, making it run its best, making sure that everything is tip top, top notch, no bullshit, right? That is what we all strive for as engine configurators. Um, as ECU configurators, that's what we want to strive for to make the engine run at its maximum potential. That being, those are those part throttle cruising moments. If you've got a well done Pro Tune, especially on these OTS maps, a lot of time and effort is put into making sure that your part throttle cruising is super dialed and you're using every little ounce of potential energy that's available there. You may, I'm not promising you, you may see even a slight increase in gas mileage just because we are utilizing the engine just a little bit better and optimizing each individual engine to its own configuration. So with that guys, I hope this guide was helpful and informative to you. 
you have any more questions, feel free to call our sales staff, visit our website at maperformance.com or leave a comment down below. I will certainly be down there answering as many questions that I, as I possibly can. Um, with that, if you guys like these informative, informational videos, um, these kind of talking head with also some installation stuff in it. If you guys like these style of videos, let us know, give us a like, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, everything, all the above. Um, but for now, it's been real. See you guys in the next one.